crocheted from the top down in an easy to memorize increasing repeat. This shawl is made with only one ball of Be So Fine yarn. Follow the link in the video description box to download this free pattern. First we're going to tie our yarn onto our crochet hook. You may use a slip knot, a square knot, whichever you prefer. And row one begins with a chain eight. Chain eight is going to count as a double crochet chain five. The first three chains count as the double crochet and the next five are the chain five space. We're now going to double crochet into the eighth chain from our hook. And what that means is we don't count the loop on our crochet hook, that's our working yarn. We're going to count back eight chains and work a double crochet into that very last chain. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. You now have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to chain five and double crochet again in that very same chain. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is what the end of row one should look like. Row two begins with a chain four that counts as a double crochet chain one. The first three chains are the double crochet, the fourth chain is the chain one space. Turn our work and double crochet into the top of the first stitch in the row below. Yarn over, insert your hook in the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You now have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that chain four and double crochet counts as a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now we're going to chain five. In the next double crochet, we will work double crochet, chain one, double crochet. chain five and in the last double crochet we want to do the same double crochet chain one double crochet and remember of this chain eight space it was the first three chains that counted as the double crochet so we're going to work in the third chain so yarn over your hook and work one double crochet chain one and one more double crochet This is what the end of row two should look like. Row three begins with turning our work and slip stitching into that first chain one space, chain four. The chain four counts as a double crochet chain one and in that same chain one space we're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. We want a total of five double crochets and four chain one spaces. Chain five, and then in the next chain one space we're going to do the same, five double crochets separated by four chain one spaces.
chain five and do the same thing in the last chain one space five double crochets separated by four chain one spaces This is what the end of row three should look like. Row four begins with a chain one. Turn your work, single crochet into that first double crochet. Chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet. chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain five, double crochet in the next chain five space, chain five. Okay, and this is what we're going to repeat across. This is what the end of row four should look like. Row five begins with turning our work, slip stitch into the first chain three space, chain one, single crochet in the same chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space. We've now gone from four chain three spaces to three. Chain five, double crochet in the double crochet, chain five. 
and this is what we will repeat across. This is what the end of row five should look like. Row six begins with turning our work, slip stitch into the first chain three space, chain one, single crochet in the same chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space. We've now gone from three chain three spaces to two, chain five. In the double crochet, we'll now work double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Chain five. And this is what we will repeat across. This is what the end of row six should look like. Row seven begins with turning our work, slip stitch into the first chain three space, chain one, single crochet in the same chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, We've now gone from two chain three spaces to one, chain five. In the next chain one space, we're going to work double crochet chain one four times and then double crochet. So that's a total of five double crochets separated by four chain one spaces. chain five, 
and this is what we will repeat across. This is what the end of row seven should look like. Row eight begins with turning our work, slip stitch into the first chain three space, and we're going to chain eight, which counts as a double crochet chain five. So the first three chains is the double crochet portion, and then the next five is the chain five space. And we'll double crochet into that very same chain three space. Chain five. Single crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet. We should have four chain three spaces, chain five, In the next chain three space, we're going to work double crochet, chain five, double crochet, chain five, double crochet. So there's three double crochets in that center chain three space, chain five. In the next double crochet, work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet. We should have four chain three spaces, chain five. And in the last chain three space, we're going to work double crochet, chain five, and a double crochet. This is what the end of row eight should look like. Row nine begins with a chain eight. which counts as a double crochet chain five. So the first three chains is the double crochet. The next five chains are our chain five space. Turn your work, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain five. Single crochet in the next chain three space. Chain three. Single crochet in the next chain three space. Chain three single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space. We now have three chain three spaces, chain five, 
double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 5, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 5, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 5, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, we should have 3 chain 3 spaces, chain 5, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 5, and double crochet in the last double crochet, but remember that was a chain 8 space at the beginning of the previous row. So you want to skip the 5 chains and work into the top third of the 3 chains at the beginning that counted as the double crochet. Okay, this is what the end of row 9 should look like. Row 10 begins with a chain 4, which counts as a double crochet chain 1, and we'll work a double crochet in the same beginning stitch. Chain 5, double crochet, chain 1, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain 5, Single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3. Single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3. Single crochet in the next chain 3 space. We should now have 3 chain 3 spaces. Chain 5. Double crochet, chain 1, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain 5. And do that over the next two singular double crochets. Chain 5, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, Ch sorry, chain 5, two chain 3 spaces, Double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain five, and double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the last double crochet. Again, we're going to skip the chain five and work in the top th of the third chain, which counted as the double crochet portion of that chain eight. Okay, so we should now have double crochet, chain one, double crochet, here, 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 six, seven times, and then two sets of two chain three spaces. This is what the end of row 10 should look like. Row 11 begins with turning our work and slip stitch into the first chain one space. Chain four counts as a double crochet chain one, and we're going to double crochet again in that same chain one space. Chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all in that first chain one space. So we have a total of five double crochets separated by four chain one spaces. Chain five, 
and we'll repeat that over the next chain one space. single crochet in the next chain three space, chain one, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space. We've now reduced to one chain three space over the motif, chain five, and work five double crochets separated by four chain one spaces in the next chain one space. chain five and repeat this over the next two chain one spaces in the center single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain five, okay and over the last two chain one spaces we'll do that same repeat of five double crochets separated by four chain one spaces. The chain five between them. This is what row eleven should look like. Row 12 begins with a chain one, turn our work, single crochet in the first double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, and single crochet in the next double crochet. 
So over the motif, we've now created four chain three spaces. Chain five, double crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next double, chain three, 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 single crochet in the next double, chain five, and double crochet in the next chain three space, chain five, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain three, and single crochet in the next double crochet, chain five, double crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, and repeat all of that again in the, in the corner. Okay, working four chain three spaces over this next motif. chain five, double crochet in the next chain three space. I'm going to show you what the corner looks like now. So we've added two additional double crochets in the middle of these three center motifs. Okay, chain five. Okay, we're going to work our four chain three spaces over these five double crochets same repeat as we've done throughout this row. chain five, double crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, and repeat for the last five double crochets with a single crochet, chain three,
this is what the end of row 12 should look like. Row 13 begins with turning our work and slip stitch into the first chain 3 space. Chain 1, single crochet in the same chain 3 space, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space. So over each motif we're now going to work 3 chain 3 spaces. Chain 5, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 5, and we're going to work 3 chain 3 spaces over the next 4 chain 3 spaces. Chain 5, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 5, 3 chain 3 spaces over the next 4 chain 3 spaces. Chain 5, double crochet over the next double crochet, chain 5, four, three, double, three chain 3 spaces over the next 4 chain 3 spaces. Chain 5, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 5, 3 chain 3 spaces over the next 4 chain 3 spaces. Chain 5, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 5, um, 3 chain 3 spaces over the next 4 chain 3 spaces. Chain 5, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 5, and 3 chain 3 spaces over the last 4 chain 3 spaces. And this is what the end of row 13 should look like.
Row 14 begins with turning our work, slip stitch into the first chain 3 space, chain 1, and single crochet in the same space. Chain 3, and single crochet in the next chain 3 space. Chain 3, single crochet in the next chain 3 space. Over each motif on this row, we're reducing the chain 3 spaces to 2 chain 3 spaces per repeat. Chain 5. In the next double crochet, we're going to work double crochet, chain 1, double crochet. And this is what we will repeat across. In every set of three chain three spaces, we'll be reducing to two chain three spaces, and in every standalone double standalone double crochet, we'll be, we'll be putting, putting a double crochet, chain one, double crochet.
this is what the end of row 14 should look like. Row 15 begins with turning our work, slip stitch into the first chain 3 space, chain 1, single crochet in the same chain 3 space, chain 3, and single crochet in the next chain 3 space. On this row, we will, we will be reducing down to one chain 3 space per repeat. Chain 5, and in each chain 1 space, we're going to be working five double crochets separated by four chain one spaces. And that's done with a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Five double crochets separated by four chain one spaces. And we're going to repeat this across.
this is what the end of row 15 should look like. For the rest of the shawl, we will be repeating rows 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit so you can see again. We'll go back now. This is 8, the one with the three double crochets in the center, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we're going to be repeating rows 8 through 15 throughout the rest of the shawl, the only difference being that we will have more of the repeats along the side here in between the center increases and the side increases. There, uh, please refer to the line-by-line -line instructions that you can download on my website for free, and it will also include this really wonderful chart that's really helpful for following along as well. The line-by-line -line instructions explain in detail for every single row, so you can follow along from what you're repeating from rows 8 through 15 and also get the number of repeats to do for each of the larger rows. If you have any questions, by all means, leave them in the comments below and please send me photos of your finished beautiful Lila Berry shawls. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.